So the UCP, the nonviolent method, these group of people I'm talking about, it, the newer people, their primary goal is to protect their homeland. And because of this, all the youth, hundreds and thousands of youth, they all have arms. I can't explain how they got all these weapons, but they all have arms. There are people that are not trained, they don't have military background or full trained skill to control gun or how to use gun. They just get it and randomly they use it. So when we got there, there was every minute there's gunfire. If they have one or two argument, they start fighting, it's killing. Revenge killing among themselves. They don't forgive each other. Like everything is gone. So the UCP program went in. We talked to the authorities that, look, we want, the, first of all, we sit with them. We say, what are your problems? Oh, we need food, we need medicine, we need this, we need that, we need this. I said, okay, but our work, we cannot give you these things, but we are here to know your problem. Then we can advocate for help for you. But I cannot advocate with this environment for people to come to help you because this place is not safe. So we work together. You, we engage the armed youth to find a way to control the gun that we can advocate for help to come. That's the UCB. The authorities say, okay, how do we do that? We call it youth engagement. We introduce training for the youth. We mobilize them. Uh, we start teaching them anger management and conflict resolution, and then we introduce sports. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of them were bored, nothing sure. to do. So, mm -hmm. so we brought sporting activities, football trainings, but before we put them on the field to play, we gave them a lot of training and workshop that when you play, your friend do this to you, don't retaliate in anger. So uh, the, the youth, uh, I told them, I don't judge you. I would never judge you for things that you do because uh, you are a victim at the same time a perpetrator. So you are preconditioned to a situation that probably you don't have a choice. So, but in this, there's no choice now. If you can follow sports, you can follow other training, you can pass the building, this will change your life for the better. You know, your friends have died, your friends are injured, your friends are crippled, you don't have to. So when we brought the football materials, sporting materials, a lot of them started to do that. And that's how we got almost all the armed youth in those communities. That's how the violence have managed to reduce a little bit. So I told the authorities, we get the youth, we reduce rape. We get the youth, we reduce uh, capital ready. We get the youth, gun uh, strip bullet we reduce. Teaching them a UCP method. <clears throat> you don't have to use violence to resolve your issues. Mm 